Okay, we are back, I think. I'm here. Are you guys here? The game's here. Can you see it? We have sound. Am I too loud? Is the game too loud? Of course we can blame this on Lorelai's stepdad, the fucking prick. Okay, so, 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 uh... I d I, uh, somebody left a comment on the YouTube um, video saying that like they thought that the the stepdad was very two-dimensional and kind of like laughably evil and everything um, and I don't disagree that he was very two-dimensional I guess but um, they did give a little bit of background they did give a little bit of uh, background stream because it said I ended when I loaded <laughs> arc <laughs> This is the, like the second time it, you thought that you you uh, missed it. Anyway, um, I don't think he was laughably evil. I really don't. I, I think it didn't matter that the stepdad was two-dimensionally evil because that's all he needed to be. And um, and it, it didn't make me feel like he was unrealistic that uh, he had no redeeming qualities. Don't be shy. Come in, Lorelei. I'm cooking it just stew. it just literally ha made me have what? nothing but hate towards him. It's about time you had a nutritious home cooked. Glad meal, you could join us, Ark. Think? I think I solved our crashing problems. Maybe, but hopefully, cross your fingers, place? cross your heart. And who are you? Hope to die. But we do have to see this cutscene again because I'm almost with almost full this certainty we're gonna crash if I kingdom. skip it. <laughs> I'm almost yeah. I'm almost certain Don't those are onions as well, Sin. That those friend. are hanging down. But it's very strange. I thought that um, I thought that garlic grows like that, not onions. I knew your mother and your father. And your father. And now I'm getting to know you, Laura. And I. I'm getting to know you. Yes, Laura I've heard this many times already today. <laughs> Ark, we are. Uh, we had to ditch Streamlabs, hoping that that was the cause of the crashing. We'll find out right now. Moment of truth. Moments. Passing by very slowly. I'm on edge. Oh, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Success! And we have a tunnel. We have a tunnel and we have a cave. Freaking success, thank God. And we're not gonna mess with anything. We're not gonna skip anything. I'm not gonna alt tab. What we got is what we got. We're sticking with it. Hey! Isn't this part of a tire or a wheel right here? Like a car wheel or a car tire? I don't know the relevance of that, but... There's a, uh... But that this... Like, I know the piano was here from, um, her house. I think her house had a piano, didn't it? Or if it didn't, maybe it was the nursing home. Wheelchairs from the nursing home. <sighs> Alright, bitch. Give me some answers. Yay! It's the rose, buddy! I love that thing! Gosh, it's so adorable! Or did the piano have the house? <gasps> they call me the Queen of Maggots. Yes, they do. I really let people in. They have no business here in my place of rest. But I thought that for you, I'll bend the rules and give you some of that motherly love poor Miranda failed to deliver. For me? Why? See, I've been around a long time. Born out of darkness to burrow my tunnels deep in the wicked human hearts. Yeah, you sound like the devil. <laughs> but your heart is different, Lorelei. <gasps> no, I didn't, Ark! Survivor. Oh my goodness, survivor. I have to check that. I can't check it right now, though. I don't want to risk crashing the game. Survive my throat slashed open with a sharp piece of glass. Hard to survive that one, Lorelai. Don't be too rough on yourself. Is not the end. Don't you know that, Lorelai? Just ask Susan Ashworth. Bullshit. Where's my dad then? Where's mom? Gone. Now I'm gone too. Perhaps you are stronger than them. After all, when someone's will is strong enough, even the death cannot stop. The them. death? Even the death 
I think you are really overestimating who I am, strange lady. And who are you, really? What do you see when you look in the mirror, Lorelei? Hmm. Just a normal person with simple ambitions for a good, quiet life. I don't know, I see someone who still hasn't figured out who they are or what they want. I see a dead girl. <laughs> well, um, I see some, I see someone who'd almost got, got away, but they were fooling themselves that this could ever work. Oh, that's sad. Maybe I am a survivor. I've been through so much shit, but I'm still holding on. Uh, I think, I would say either this one or this one sounds very Lorelai-ish. Maybe... This sounds very pessimistic, but they were fo but she was fooling herself that it could ever work. That sounds very pessimistic. So, I think I'm going to go with I see someone who still hasn't figured out who they are, what they want. Yeah, cuz she's still very young. I don't know. I see someone who still hasn't figured out who they are, what they want. I see a girl that tries so hard to make good choices, but they always turn out wrong in the end. So she's confused. She's lost. There was a glimmer of hope. Once, she could see the door open wide and she ran for it like she'd never run in her life. But then it shut right in her face. And now she'll never know how life would be if she'd crossed the finish line. Yeah, I mean, she had just started her first job. She was on her way to independence. Just taking what her does it matter now? little sister and running. I can't turn back the time. Mm, no, but with my help, there is hey, still we're somewhere something else. you can do. Let's take a little walk, shall we? I imagine a spirit would be pretty angry to not be able to finish their business, achieve their purpose, yeah? Never minding it being taken from them by someone else. We need to go back and destroy that guy. I even forgot his name. What was it? John or something. Walk with me. Oh. What's this? Was that when she saw her mom? Sorry. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we had forgotten that happened. Oh my god, her neck is bloody now! Look at her throat. Wait. Is it her throat, or is that just the outline her d of her bangs coming down? Can't tell. Oh, jeez. Oh, no! This last memory of your life. Well, this isn't That's it. dreadful, even for my standards. What's he doing to Beth? I believe he will drown her, Lorelei. You'd like to stop that man, wouldn't you? Yeah. But how? It's too late. And what if I told you that it was not? What? I'll bring you back to life. You'll carry on right from where you died. Uh huh, what do you get in return? Then you can pull Bethany out of that evil man's fingers. Sounds good, doesn't it? But this is flipped. The scene is flipped, isn't it? Uh, like it's mirrored. The, the, it was the other way around. 
uh, bathtub was on the right side. And you really can do that. I'm not sure if I can trust you. I'm not sure if I can trust you, regardless of if you can do that. I'm not sure if I can trust you. Queen of maggots. You have got nothing to lose, Lorelei. You're not the At queen of butterflies, are you? Done, you do this. Well, maybe. How would I... Oh, it's easy. Anyone can do this. Super easy but to combat first, death. I want you to fetch something for me. Oh boy. Candle? It's not dead wolf pelts, is it? Well, that kind of breaks my immersion. Alright. What is it? I just need one final ingredient for my stew. It's gonna be like a, a heart. Of shark. Oh. Just a slice. Really? Shark? You want me to kill a shark? Oh, there's one already dead not far from here. Mm. Where? Look for the lonely seashore. Oh, I'm certain that the, the queen doesn't uh, care about the baby. She wants... She wants Lorelai's soul. Uh, there is no save in this game. Oh! There is a save in this game. <laughs> Holy shit, thank you. <laughs> Glad I checked that. I thought everything was autosave. Wait, nothing happened, so... Alright, save one. Nice. I don't want to know what else is in... Wait. Oh, was this place green before? I don't remember it having the green hue. Did it? Oh, the rocking chair. Uh -huh. Okay. Is she going to ask us to blow out a candle? These planes seem so fragile. Hmm. It's nighttime now. Hmm? What has happened? I, I tried to look at the painting. Is it gonna teleport me there? It is. Huh, I had no idea. <laughs> but it did. Oh, the sea. Ah, uh, it's a lovely sea. No waves. Super calm. Use the sea. Use it for my purposes. Oh, a starfish. Oh, you poor thing. You belong in the ocean, not here. Agreed! Let's save him! Our little starfish friend, Fred. Oh yeah! It belongs in the sea. Okay, I'm gonna put you in the sea, my friend. Where are you? Use. Use on the sea. Ah, We got an achievement! We saved Fred the starfish! Hey, I got plus one karma! Apparently karma's a thing. Don't know why. Don't know what it does. That's nice. Doing night. I guess doing, um... Like, things that you're not required to do. Has someone been digging here? That's just nice. I'll give you karma. I hope I haven't missed any karma opportunities yet. This makes me wonder if it's possible to write a story about the morality regarding saving a life. Morality regarding saving a life. Tell me about that sin. Tell me. You have me very interested. Carjack. Shed. It's a huge padlock for such a tiny shed. How strange. Quickly, pull out your phone and consult the lockpicking lawyer. Okay. It's a huge padlock. Yes. Well, let's use this on it. Let's just bash it. I've seen it happen. I've seen it done in movies all the time. You just bash it with the shovel. What are you doing? That's a huge padlock. No, 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 shed. no, no. What I'm trying to do. Use this. Use shovel on shed. Okay. Oh. Well. Be useful. Game sounds kind of loud to me. Is that? Is it okay? Where saving the life was the unethical thing to do. Yeah, is that like, uh, I don't know, would that be like resuscitating somebody that had a DNR order? 
Is that unethical? That'd be that that could be arguably unethical. Like with reanimating old people. Yeah, or somebody who was suffering and you just keep them alive, I guess. Possibly against their wishes, I don't know. Morality. Looks steady enough. Keeping somebody alive against their will? Is that unethical, though? Ooh. Ooh, the lighting in here, I love it. Squeaky old ladder. Okay. We're inside a ship. Are those dead fish? Is that piles and piles and piles of dead fish? Hey, it's a dead shark. Just as she said there would be. I think there's something stuck inside the shark's jaws. Okay. There's something inside the shark. If only I could get these jaws open. Oh, I think I have just the thing. <sighs> okay. Now let's reach in that. Oh, we're going to lose an arm. Oh my god, it's going to snap closed. Ah! Oh, I have my teeth clamped Camcorder. shut. <laughs> Camcorder. Okay. How curious. Thin. Well, this is it. But I only want a slice. I don't think I, I have have something to cut it off. No, I was just gonna say, we don't really have anything. I can't imagine. Let's take a look at this. I don't even want to know how this ended up inside the shop. Well, this is it. Let's use it. But I only want a slice. Well, this is it, but I... So there's a raft. Am I missing something here? Maybe don't grab the fin yet. Yeah, let's not. Let's not. Let's hold off. Can I go? It's trying to show us something. Oh! It was showing us this raft right here. What can we do with it? Roots! Wait a tick. Yeah, I guess it's looking at the roots. Roots? I see nothing unusual. I saw this spot on the video. Could there be something buried underneath? Aha! It would take me ages to dig here with just my hands. Luckily we have... The shovel. Is this when we finally meet the famous she who sells see Sheesh! God damn it. <laughs> She who sells seashells by the seashore. Skeleton. Is that the same she who has said everything? We found a corpse. This skeleton looks ancient. Because it's picked clean. Ooh, somebody got stabbed in the diaphragm. Oh my god, agonizing. Somebody got stabbed in the diaphragm right underneath the sternum. Oh. Poor chap. Poor chap. Stabbed right in the gut. Perfect. I could really use a knife. Okay, so we weren't going to be able to take that shark fin anyway. Hmm. I don't want to leave this place yet. It's kind of nice. <laughs> use the knife no. on the sea. Now that's one hell of a knife. Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, let's try to use the knife on here. I don't know. Hey, we got rid of the shovel. That's not going to work. Did it just disintegrate into my hands? Or from my hands? Through my hands? Out of my hands? And lo, she did cut the sea to negligible effect. That sounded quite poetic, Sin. Yeah, and how did the shark get inside here? Unless the ship was washed up on shore? After it had been, I don't know, out under 
under underwater? Use. I'm taking your fin, little shark. Okay. This is what I came for. Now. How do we leave this place? Good question. I will probably be through the shed. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what a strange... <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that was a strange little sound I made. It's a slice of raw shark meat for Queen Stew. The Queen Stew. It's blocking my way. Um, shove off. <laughs> there you go. Ah. Oh. Oh, aren't you a very strange key? Yeah. What a strange key. That's all she has to say to it about it. Hmm. Can I combine it with a camcorder? No. That makes no sense. Two rose screams. Ah ah ah. <laughs> I know that was weird. <laughs> Didn't get me this time. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's because, um, like, I saw it and then reacted to it, like, a, fr a fraction of a second later. Okay, let's unlock this gateway back to Purgatory, or wherever. Could this be my way out of here? I want to check out that truck! Alas, I cannot. Every game has to have super creepy mannequins teleporting out of nowhere. Oh, hey! Would you look at that? Uh, not every game, but uh, every every cat lady game, yes. I still can't go through that one. Hmm. I'm waiting for her to ask me to blow out a candle, and I'm a I actually think I'm gonna do it. I've got it. Are we yes. gonna? Put it in the pot. Should we eat the soup? It sounds like a very bad idea. It sounds like doing anything that the queen wants us to is a very bad idea. Oh, she's eating it. Eat, my child. It's probably made of blood this and you will make your heart beat again. I've never had shark before. It's quite nice. Indeed. And should you ever come back, there's plenty left for later. Oh dear. It would be a shame to waste it. I don't know. I don't know if that was really shark we put on that put in there or what else was in there. It's time for you to have your revenge. Alright. I am I am pretty That's excited about revenge. God, I hate that place. But I'm ready. This is your second chance. Don't Oh, she's wearing red now. You, you look at her, you couldn't tell that she was wearing red before. The queen, I mean. Alright, guys, we're coming back and we're about to... to save you, Bethany. We're gonna lay down the divine punishment smackdown on this guy. The queen is trying to steal your subscribers! Ah. How dare you. I'll fight you for them. Yeah, I wonder if there's something somewhere. In, um, oh, Lonely Seashore. Oh, God. I'm back. A second chance. Here's Lori. I like that. Oh. Oh, I'm healed. I'm healed. It'd be it'd be better though if I got up with this massive gash in my throat and then he turned around and saw us. No. Nope. Hold left. Yeah! 
Oh, that probably wouldn't do any damage, though, would it? You need to stab him repeatedly in the throat. Back of the neck, back of the head. You know that soft spot right where... Ooh, boy. Oh. Hey! All right! Oh, that lovely snap of the neck. You know that that's just instant death. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Was, it, was his name Jack? That our next door neighbor? Our, our friend? Our really nice friend? Was his name Jack? <laughs> Marijuana portrait on the side. I'm glad he's okay. Bethany! We saved you! Zach. Zach, Zach, Zach. Zach. I was so close. I give up. Let's call the police. I can't even call the police. They'll just take Bethany and put her in foster care. Why is that a terrible thing? Uh... I can't even call the police. They'll just take Bethany and put her in foster care. And the I game would be shorter. Risk. Just look at her. She needs me. Let's just try to calm down. I need a moment to collect my thoughts and figure out what to do next, I guess. Is Zach wondering what happened? Oh, Zach got knocked out before we got stabbed in the throat and killed. How's your head, Zach? Yeah. How's your head, Zach? So he didn't see us. It's all right, I think. It was just a little bump, really. And my glorious hat took most of the impact, too. <laughs> That's a glorious hat. You saved us back there. Yeah. Me? Nah. I just... Oh, shut up. You did. If it wasn't for you, we'd all be dead now. Let's just agree it was a team effort. So Except modest. You really had no business in helping me. Well, maybe I did. Hmm? Vivisum says, well, foster care has some bad stories, definitely not all of them, but enough to make some people second guess. Uh, Sin says, the system, it's outrageously broken. Oh, really? I mean, I don't, I don't really know anything about it or have any experiences with it at all. Then our friend shoots us in the face because we're a zombie. I like that. Why, why has everything in life got to be so fucking hard? Yeah. Yeah, I think she has the right to question that at Why this point. Why everything in life got to be so fucking hard? All I ever wanted was to have a normal, happy life. I shouldn't have to worry about my mum's drinking and John harassing me. And I shouldn't have to look after a baby that isn't even mine. It's not always going to be this way. Then why is everything I do a fucking failure? Aw, it's not her. You know... That's what happens. Look at the book. You're gonna fail. At the bottom of the screen. You're gonna fail ten times. In the box. Times, maybe even a thousand times. With a controller. But that's okay. All their games. Failure isn't permanent. It's two Take copies of the up. cat lady. And you keep going. And this time, you're gonna be stronger. Wiser. And you're gonna be better. You wanna live your own life and be free of the past? Yes. And stop worrying about failing. Stop being afraid. Just love the dream you want to achieve. Ah, good eye, Sin. Never, I noticed it too just now. Ever give up. Why do you talk like some old Chinese wise man? You're only a couple years older than me. I. I watch motivational videos on YouTube. <laughs> good advice though thanks yeah well do me a favor and keep that crap to yourself Ugh. <laughs> how rude how un Lorelei and I I've decided that because I'm playing you and I've decided that Lorelei is a very sweet kind girl. it's good advice though thanks keep 
Hmm. I think that this will progress the story, but I do want to find out what he does. This is a cool place. What do you actually do? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I make video games. Really? That's awesome. Well, they're pretty shit, to be honest. Aww. They can't be that bad. I mean, people are buying them, right? Some people enjoy them. That's true. But I'm hardly Hideo Kojima. Hmm. Well, I don't know who this Heidi Kajuna is. Uh, sure didn't he make, make a great success Metal Gear Solid? You reckon? Well, of course. As long as you put your heart and soul into it. In my experience, the heart and soul means nothing without a million dollars spent on advertising. Maybe you're only saying that because your heart's been somewhere else. Oh. I wonder where. I wonder if this character Zach is supposed to be have a little bit of uh, the developer in him. That would be. That'd be pretty interesting. What games did you make? Yeah, I want to know this. Wonder if uh, this is supposed to be uh, just a little bit of uh, Armikowski. What games did you make? I mean, I admit I don't know much about it. My dad had a console, and we used to play together back in the day. You probably never heard of them. Hey, what's the mine? There's thousands How's of indie games out there these days. Oh, come on. I want to know. What was the first one about? It's called... Oh, let's hear it. The Dog Gentleman? Ha, <laughs> the cat lady! Okay. The Dog Gentleman! It's about this chap who really loves his dog, but it gets kidnapped. Oh dear. By cats. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can play it! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is awesome. All you do is run left and right and, and press the attack button to attack with your leash. Oh my gosh, what's the attack button? Is it enter? What? I'm confused. What's the attack button? E? Oh, E! Who do you fight? Oh. But luckily, your leash attacks are powerful enough to cut them in half. Did he say zombie cats? <laughs> okay. What? Sounds cool, man. <laughs> it does. What other games did you make? Oh. You want to hear more? Okay. Two years ago, I made this odd little thing called Ice Cube Battles. I wanted to tap into that stupid everyday object simulator craze. Ah. You made a game about ice cubes. Is that like, and that mm -hmm. because like Toast Simulator, and they fight right? Until they melt. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine it. Or was it Bread Slice Bread Simulator or something like that? I love this so much. Sounds kind of silly to me. Sounds amazing. It's only 99 cents. I mean, <laughs> sure, it might not be the best game ever, but actually, yeah, it sucks balls, really. <laughs> I'm not too proud of that one. Oh, I like the idea. I would play Ice Cube Simulator, yeah. I am bread. Thank you, Olaf. Well, after the dog gentleman, I felt like I needed to make something short and snappy to generate some cash. Because for whatever reason, only five people bought it. Ah. So I made the Herring Strangler, a game where you're herring and you escape from a fishmonger to jump back into the sea. And how did that go? Nice. Down? It did not make it into the featured section. Let's just say that. I want to play the herring. The, but the at least I learned games about fish do not sell. <laughs> what other games did you make? I need to know all uh, of them. I don't want to bore you. No, please oh, tell come me. Come on, I wouldn't have asked if I wasn't interested. Fair enough. Well, I once tried to make something deeper, something meaningful. 
and that's how Cadaver's blood came to be. Except the more I worked on it, the more it became a first-person zombie shooter. <laughs> These are at least popular, right? Hell, yeah. But? I might have got overwhelmingly negative reviews, but still. 10,000 copies sold in the first week. Wow. In my book, that's a job well done. Hmm. Would it be really interesting if this was, like, some of the developer's very first games that he developed? What other games did you make? Probably I not, made this but... this great game once. It was pretty fantastic. What was it called? You wake up on an island, and you're all naked, except for a rock and a torch. There's other players that try to kill you and steal your shit, too. Your rock and, and your torch? As you go on exploring and <laughs> gathering resources, you learn how to survive, build bases, craft stuff, that sort of thing. But just as I was about to release it, some other guys stole my idea and beat me to it. Aw, huh. what a shame. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, Dust would have been the greatest game I ever made. Oh my gosh, Rust, right? That's what he's... That's what he's probably referring to. I've never played Rust, but... Battle Royale? No, I think he's talking about a survival, like a, a multiplayer survival. Rust, you clever bastard. What other games did you make? <sighs> I've rumbled on enough. I'm sure you've had enough listening about it. Oh. I'm running away. Tonight. With Bethany. But... Where are you gonna go? Are you sure it's a good idea? What choice do I have? I think I'll They'll go to Boston. We won't let that happen. You're Boston. her sister. And you're an adult, aren't you? Only just... It's still pretty obvious that she'd be better off in your care. Keep I eating. Mean, <laughs> she's nice. got no one else left in the world. That would have been a nice play on words. Instead of don't starve, keep eating. <laughs> no, and neither do I. Actually, no, we have you. Well, yeah. I really don't want to leave this guy. That seems to be a super amazing friend. Let's let's take a look at some of these uh things on the on the wall. So we have downfall. We have. We have plant plants from outer space. We have un unbound Blackwell Blackwell unbound. Okay. We have uh, X with Ray Milland. I want to believe. Can't read what the one in the green text says at all. We have a Frankenstein poster. We have a poster that says Dumbass Drivers Exposition Internationally Paris, 1937 Hmm And then of course the cat lady in front of the the bottom of the screen here But no, we we have you, Zach You're, you're gonna be part of our new family It's gonna be just us Actually yeah, the only one no. we can trust. We have you. Thank you, Zach. It's... Okay. For you... I... <gasps> He's been in love. Yeah? I just think you deserve better. <sighs> that's all. Oh, that's Why all? Why are you being so nice to me, Zach? Because, you know... Everyone else seems to be a twat lately. <laughs> that I could have said no when I came asking for help. But you didn't. Why? Well, if a lifetime of playing video games teaches you one thing, it's that the hero always rescues the princess. Of course! That's not the only reason, though. <laughs> He's beating around the bush. He's being all shy. It's rather adorable. Oh, man. I don't know. Zach, no. You do. Do you really want me to say it? Uh, 
You know, you're right. This isn't a good time for this conversation. It's really not. It's really not. Like, I feel like it wouldn't naturally go here. Like, our mom is still dead. Uh, we just killed someone. <sighs> I think I wouldn't pressure him. I'd encourage him by saying I like you too. It's alright, Zack. I like you too. I I think it's more than like though on his end. You don't you don't like help somebody What's wrong? <laughs> kill someone. You just like them. Oh, can you not smell it? Jesus. Did they feed you that stinking curry for dinner too? Oh. Oh boy. Yep. Code brown situation. And I'm guessing you don't have any clean nappies in your flat anywhere. Sorry. Nappies. I stopped using them a long time ago. <laughs> He's funny. What do we do? Well, I can't get them from my flat. Because I really don't want to go back there. We'll have to improvise. Okay. We need to clean her up and change her nappy. Uh, sounds tricky. <laughs> Look, I've washed a bunch of old women today. How hard can it be with a baby? Well, I don't know. I'm a total noob with babies, remember? Do you have anything here I can use? Other than my beanie hat? Nope, I don't think so. Your beanie hat? No! This could totally work. No way! No! It's a limited edition Breaking Bad beanie. Don't Did take a man's no beanie hat. Baby? Oh my goodness, she's just gonna dirty Fine. it in like another hour or two anyway. Right, it'll work. <laughs> I just need to make some adjustments. Do you mind watching her while I have a look around? No, go ahead. Uh, I think I would just go next door and grab some more diapers, like a lot of them, like all of them. Uh, and are you telling me that she hasn't changed her little sister yet at all? It's Zach's bedroom door. Right, Blah Wolf? Yeah, look at that hair. <laughs> kind of messy, but it's alright. Baby raising simulator isn't actually a thing. Though. That'd be funny. Use like a clean pillowcase. Oh yeah, duh, that's a great idea. Uh, alright. So like, we'll leave his apartment, but we just won't go next door. George's bedroom. Huh? George. Paul. Oh, is that his roommate or something? And this is... Haha! -ha, look at the fridge! It says Lorelei. And also says douchebag backwards on the bottom fridge. Someone's been playing with fridge magnets. Lorelei. I guess Zach really likes me. Yeah, she's made no comment about, you know. Uh. This looks like it could absorb liquid really well. I remember TV ads for this stuff. Apparently it can absorb insane amounts of liquid. Okay, take it. Uh, yeah, she hasn't said anything about her experience or getting, like, stabbed in the throat. I think one of the first things that I would say to him is, I thought I died or something. Flatmate. I'm pretty sure he's out right now. Let's be completely rude and have a look-see. Box of tissues. Now there's no need to be judgmental about it. It's just a box of tissues. Well, I don't see any reason to be judgmental box of tissues will come in handy. What else do we have? Bathroom. Let's <laughs> do like two rolls of empty toilet paper on the on the floor. No toilet paper. Boys will be boys, I guess. They have no tub. This is where Zach keeps his toiletries. I feel very sorry for them. Having a nice bath is one of the simple pleasures of life. 
think I will need a pair of scissors. Those cameras are for science! <laughs> he is, yeah, he's gonna notice that the entire box is gone. I guess, well, George might assume that, uh... I don't need to go right now. George is probably gonna assume that, um... Zack used, uh, took them. This place is like a mirror reflection of our flat. What do we have here? Lots of boxes still just laying around. Long loading screen makes me nervous. Makes me nervous crashing. A bicycle? It's Zach's front door. Uh, look through people. Nobody's there! Huh. Okay, I guess we should go outside. Yeah, I'm gonna go just try to go next door and get a diaper. Jeez. I'll better stay here. Where it's safe. Alright. I guess we have what we need. We've investigated pretty much everything. Oh. Yes, the kitchen. I was expecting a jump scare too, yeah. Oh, he's holding the baby. He's holding a stinky baby. Good on him. Oh, I feel so terrible having taken his... Uh, having taken his hat. Now, let's make two holes for Bethany's tiny legs. Oh my goodness. Not the beanie! Ark! Done. Cool. Glad you made it home safe. Nothing much has really happened. We were just talking things over with Zack and um, found out about uh, some of the games that he's made in the past. Let's uh, combine this with this. These kitchen towels should keep Bethany dry. Perfect. Okay, and uh, beanie nappy. This should work. Now, let's get Bethany cleaned and changed. Oh yes, and we stole his limited, ad guys, it's not just any hat, it's the limited edition Breaking Bad beanie hat. I'll use these to clean Bethany up. He's actually quite good looking in his own weird way. Weird way? Good looking in a weird way? I don't know if that's a compliment. Aww. You two look very cute. Uh huh. And look, she stopped crying. Yep. You okay? Yeah. Well, I am. But. The but? smell <laughs> is strong with this one. <laughs> I've got everything. Give her to me, Zach. One happy baby. <laughs> wow. That it boggles my mind how such a cute little thing can produce so much stink. Uh oh. Oh shit. Who could that be? Oh no. At this hour. No idea. Let's see. Did somebody call the police when they heard heard the fighting, maybe? Yeah, the kid the 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 baby's her little sister, and... <sighs> well, I'm just gonna have a peek. Whoops, wrong way. I'm gonna have a peek outside the door, see who it is. And probably escape out a window. Alright, alright, I'm coming. That sums it up pretty well, guy. Just Zach being adorable. Uh, examine. Zach's front door. Oh. <laughs> Peek through. Oh boy. I knew it. It's police. Who is it? Police. Please open. Oh my gosh. Uh. Should we do it? No. Let's escape. Let's escape. 
terrible. They're here. We need to leave. Mother fucking shameful. Oh. All right. Let's answer the door first. No. No. Ah. Uh, Lorelai, this is a bad idea. This is just bad. They're gonna they're gonna find the bodies anyway, and then they're gonna try to find her and uh Hi. Look at that Ooh, hat! Like you look at that hat. I'm Officer Manley. We've had a call from one of the neighbors. Apparently there's been a domestic next door in Flock 7. You guys hear anything? Yes. I live in Flat 7. Good girl, don't lie. Right. What's your name? Laura Wood. And the chap? He a boyfriend of yours? Uh... Zach's my neighbor. Okie dokie. So, they are British. what happened. And don't look so frightened. I'm here to help you, not shoot you. That's what they all say. My mom hanged herself in the bathroom. I'm real sorry, Miss Wood. And then John came. He made fun of her, being dead. And who's John? Her partner. He'd always been horrible and violent to her, but she never did anything to stop it. Oh, I see. Carry on. Well, he attacked me and Zack. Knocked us both unconscious. And when I woke up, I saw John running a bath full of water. He had my baby sister, and he was going to drown her. Jeez. Why would he do that? Ah, uh, because he's a douchebag. I really don't know. He's mad. Yeah. Yeah, guy, uh, she conveniently left out that part. Uh, he slashed my throat open. I met with the devil, and she brought me back to life. <laughs> yeah, okay, maybe it is best to leave that out. <laughs> he's always hated her because he's a douchebag. I really don't know he's mad. I really don't know. He's mad. You must be mad to try and kill a baby. Right. Sounds like the right thing to Carry say. On. We tried to stop him, of course. Then he fell over and knocked his head on the loo. I think he's dead. It looked nasty. I just grabbed the baby and ran here. I'm glad she's at least telling Why the truth. Why didn't you call the police? Keeps things simple. I... I didn't know what to do. And I was scared you'd take my little sister away and... Miss Wood. We are police officers, not baby snatchers. But where's the baby now? She's in my room. She's fine. Right. Good. Here's what we'll do. You, young man, will stay here and watch the baby. Miss Wood, you will follow me. We're gonna join up with my partner inside your flat. You okay with that? I have I a don't really want to go back there. Bad feeling. But I guess there's nothing to be afraid of now. Yeah, that's crazy. No police officer would come over, would uh, make her go back into that house. That's absurd. If they were American police, we're not baby snatchers. Unless they're non-white, then we might be. <laughs> the truth was spoken by Vivisum. Oh my god. Now is it going to be different? I wonder if we go back and the scene's gonna look different. <gasps> I got a bad I, I got a bad feeling. I don't want to go back. Actually, I changed my mind. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. I don't trust him. Are these guys parasites? Are they corrupt cops? Are they? Mm, this is absurd that they're making her go back inside. Anything else I can look at? Can I pick up a weapon? Knife. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of a spoiler in one of the trailers where it showed, like, the two police officers. Huh? There's no one here, Miss Wood. Holy shit. But that's impossible. But there's pieces of skull. She was here, hanged on the shower curtain. 
There were pieces of skull at the bottom well, of the toilet. There's blood on the toilet. That's where John hit his head. I told you. <laughs> Stay behind me, miss. Oh dear. No, don't holster your gun. Are you insane? You just heard shots fired. That's not good. <sighs> We're making a break for it! We're making a break! No! Oh, shit! It's a time loop! It's a portal loop! Kitchen. Let's move. Let's move? You're insane. You're, you're a terrible police officer. You're so terrible. I heard shots fired into th in the kitchen. Quickly, come with me towards it! Area clear. Let's move. I mean, the game crashes if you look at it cross-eyed, so I bet handling a whole bunch of characters in one scene might be too much. Hmm. Let's move on, armed citizen. Indeed. Let's check the bedroom. <laughs> perfect guy. That would be perfect. Now it, it, it's his partner's last day till retirement. Yes. See? Oh, in the head. Well, I died again. <sighs> Brilliant. How is he alive? Oh, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised or shocked if the Queen of Maggots brought him back too. She's playing both sides. She's playing both sides. The queen can get wrecked to go take her out. What's happening? Oh my god! Oh, at least Zack and the baby are, at the ne are next door and they're hopefully safe. Is he burying us? Or just dropping our corpse. What about the other police officer? So many unanswered questions. Excuse me, Miss Maggots. <laughs> I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I should have just taken the baby before the house. Oh, here we are again. That's right. She did say if you're ever back again, there is plenty more left over. That guy left a lot of DNA on the scene, just saying. That's true. That was blood everywhere. Oh. Look at us, we're on the ground. We're on the ground dead. Wow. And there's a black mannequin on the on the bench. Oh. Well, we're not dead dead at least. Doll. Why are these mannequins following me everywhere? Yeah. What is with you, mannequins? Why are these mannequins following me everywhere? Ah, uh, this one has a key in its face. Locked. <laughs> Miracle gold. Oh, they're cigarettes, okay. Take cigarettes. I guess that's all we can do now with nothing else in our inventory. I think, yeah, she doesn't smoke because isn't it the brand that mum used to smoke? We made her not smoke. I kind of like how I get to decide what kind of person Lorelai is. I chose that she's like a non-smoker and there's some times where you can be you can be pretty nasty. 
in the game, right? You could put the uh, the laxative in the, the that one nurse's coffee, and it's like, well, if you want to be petty and vicious, sure. Bethany's onesie! Oh, Bethany. My dear little sister. Oh, you're so right, Sin! And Vivisum. That, uh... The, yeah, the, the key... The keyhole is exactly where Lorelai got shot in the head. Let's take it. She'll want it. Oh, look at all this. Uh-oh, crosses. This is very unsettling. Uh, what? 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 What the hell is that? What is... It's like an effigy of arms and hands? There's a black cross on it with stripes of red fabric wrapped around it. Huh. I think... Is this supposed to be us? The red fabric because of the stripes on our red dress? And then maybe this one? It looks like... It looks the same color as, his, as Zach's beanie, so that's supposed to be Zach. And then the noose is supposed to be her mom? I don't know. Whoa! I've seen that silly hat before. Right. Oh, there's four co There's four. There's four coffins. Duh, 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 duh. And this one. What a tiny little coffin. Oh, it's a tiny little Bethany coffin. I've seen that silly hat before. And then this one. This cross has a noose hanging from it. Yeah, most certainly. The okay, the four of these are supposed to be the mom, Zach, us, and um, Bethany. Uh, nothing I can do with it right now, apparently. Nothing to be done. There's something that one of the hands is holding at the top of this strange totem pole of hands. Mannequin hands, I assume. Oh. Huh. But it's pr being protected by a cage. Well, I didn't actually attempt to go inside the building, so I want to do that. Aw, cute coffin, a coffee to bury a dead baby with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe I maybe I got the wrong takeaway from that. No, I can't go inside here. Can I go farther to the right? No. Oh. Okay. Roseberry Lane. Give Zack the undead hat as payment. There we go. Let's take it with us. Here, I grabbed this hat from your grave. <laughs> I hope you like it. Strange box. It looks like some sort of toy. I can't even make out what it is. What? Huh? What? A button? A thing? Push the button. Nothing happens. Move the thing. Push the button. Nothing happens. Okay. Leave it alone. Oh. Is it going to be about, like, tracks or something? Have to do with train tracks? Umbrella! <gasps> this is the umbrella Zach gave us! Zach stayed up all night just to give me this umbrella. Or maybe he was just watching Netflix. Don't try to make less of it his kind like gesture. Sort of to Not what I meant to do. Zach stayed up all oh, that's night right. Just to give me this umbrella. Uh, no, can't use this. Or maybe he was just uh, watching no, Netflix. No, not what I want to do. No, still not what I want to do. All right, let's go back. Let's see if we can. I don't know, jostle this totem pole. Let's use this here. No? Okay. Ooh. Totem. Nope. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. We're gonna place it on there. Did nothing. Take, take. Pick up item. Okay, so, umbrella... Alright. Alright, well, 
All right. Umbrella goes on Zax. The little onesie goes on hers. And cigarettes goes on her mom's. Right, right, right. And then can I just like throw myself over my coffin? Then that should work, right? <laughs> oh, oh, what? Now I sh now I can open it. Uh, I'm missing something. I'm missing something that would go on my own grave. Umbrella. I like it. Knowing him, he was worried about you, Lorelai. Yeah. Uh, the only item that I haven't messed with is this. I don't understand. Train tracks. Maybe it did something and I didn't know. Train tracks. Train tracks. Hmm. That has to have something to do with train tracks, surely. Oh, it did. It did. Who's that? Huh? Who are you? She's not familiar. Is that a younger Lorelai? Can you move the house or something? You know, that was my first thought, Ark, actually. It was that it was it might be Mitzi. Examine. Gift from a stranger. But why? Why are these mannequins following me everywhere? Let's take a look at this again. Why are these mannequins locked? Hmm. Is there a key? It's the same kind I wear in my hair. Aww. I should start doing that. Except they won't very Looks like one of Bethany's wooden toys. Huh. Don't know what- Oh! Okay, toy it's train's gonna go in the box. Toy train's going in the box. Come on, Laura, at least thank the gargoyle woman. Right? Kids these days. No common courtesy. Hey, Flowers of Death! Good to see you in the chat. I haven't met you before, I don't think, but you're quite welcome here. Alright, we're going to stick this toy car in here. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There. That. There we go. Move the button. Button. No. There we go. Button. Button. Damn it. Yes. That is what... I'm almost certain that what it ha that's what it has to be. Oh, the rose. Okay, so the rose is going to be our coffin tribute. Tribute to our coffin, I suppose. Oh, okay, so it is your first time in the stream, Flowers of Death. Well, good to have you. Okay. That should be everything now. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, there's a face on it. There's a face on this key. Are we past the Queen of Maggots? Yes. Uh, well, I mean, if we see her again, then maybe not. But we're we've only seen we've only met her once. We got past that part. Yeah. She brought us back to life, and then uh, we went and got ourselves shot in the face. <laughs> Are Mikalski's actual reference to Rose? Rose, like... Me? Surely not. Did Or did we ever use that mannequin arm key? 
What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, so Sin, that, that mannequin ha arm key was used to open the shed when we were getting the shark fin for the soup. So that is gone now. Like me, Rose. You think that, oh, it's in reference to me, Rose. Oh, that would be, I highly doubt it. I highly, highly doubt it. <laughs> Should be like super amazing, but highly doubt it. But now these are like, <laughs> all three of these games are like my, my favorite games ever now. The Cat Lady is probably number one. Okay. Uh, let's connect the other one. Choo choo. There we go. Just needed to match them up. Now the button. Are we sending the train through the house now? The mannequin failed to transmute human life. Well, that's got to be symbolic. We just sent a train uh, crashing through our, our house. That's all gone now. <sighs> this is some creepy shit and I love it. I just love it. This just makes an excellent screenshot. Amazing. The art design is just so, so good. Oh. Nice job, Lorelei. Oh, you sound like a man. You know me? Who are you? The name's Jimmy. Jimmy? Jimmy the Traveler. And now that you've opened the way, there's one place I'd like to show you. We can talk as we go. It's quite a trek. Huh. But it's worth it. And before you ask, yes, you can trust me. That's what that old hag said, too. Oh, she says a lot of things, but believe me, I am no friend of hers. That still doesn't make you a friend of mine. Sure. But what if I told you I found a way to destroy her? To end this nightmare once and for all and send us both back to the real world? Then I'd listen to you very carefully. Hmm. Let's go then. Strangely. We'll talk soon. Strangely, him saying, before you can ask, you can trust me, just kind of made me trust him. Like, Okay, well, maybe you get it. You summoned the outsider from Dishonored? <laughs> Don't know. That one where the dead girl plows him through the... <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've ever met Jimmy before in any of the other games. Um, I think we're at, what we're actually going to do is if the game doesn't crash. Oh. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to take a break while we're, while the game is still. Aha! I can hit pause. Uh, we've been streaming for actually over an hour and 15 minutes now because we had to restart the stream, uh, from my first attempt. But I need to take a quick, uh, I need to take a quick break. Uh, just to get up and walk around, get myself something to drink. So if you guys want to take a bathroom break or heat up some food or whatever you want to do, uh, please take like about five minutes uh, to do whatever you want and I will return very shortly. Uh, any of you who haven't done so already, you can uh, hit the follow button up top and then it'll send you alerts for when uh, I start streaming again or when I, when I start a stream so that you can join me and if you're so inclined you can also subscribe oh Ark says wait wait what kind of witchcraft is this what have you done oh Ark oh thank you Ark Ark has just tipped five. Oh, thank you so much for the tip Ark thank you is it uh I don't know I don't have Streamlabs running right now actually 
I wonder if it did go through. The donation thing didn't pop up. I did see it. Well, see, I don't have Streamlabs running because uh, I'm having to run it through OBS. Streamlabs was actually causing the game to crash. That is why. All right, Vivisum, you uh, get a start on some dinner. I'm going to grab myself a soda. Give me about five minutes, and we will continue and see what Jimmy has to say for himself. Unfortunately, I don't have any title cards for the Be Right Back um, screen, so we'll just listen to this delightful little piano ditty.
right, and I am back, so we can continue our stream here. What silliness and nonsense has been going on in the chat during my absence? Ark donated five dollars. Thank you so much. I know my my cute little notifications and whatnot aren't up, but I do appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you. Turns out Streamlabs and Lorelai don't play well. Oh, I see. Ark tried to lead a revolution in my chat and take over the stream. Ah, Blah Wolf, you fell so easily. Your loyalty is easily swayed. Oh, but then he kind of bombed it. Now, oh. you bombed your own revolution, Ark. Sin's just glad to have not been a part of it. <laughs> uh, Ark says he hopes that we like the new emo. He's not very good at drawing with a mouse. You do amazing work, Ark. So it's hard to make nice things. Oh, you did so well. <laughs> yes, Ark, Ark, Ark is aroused. Hmm. Smoke bombs out. <laughs> you can't escape that easily. Yes, I am here. My rule shall continue as your glorious queen. Let's resume the game with Jimmy. Ark. Ark's going to settle back down amongst the other nobles. So where are we going? You want to tell me something about yourself? Let's find out a little bit more about him before we start when asking what's going on. You want I to tell me something about yourself? I hope I don't have only a limited I mean, time to ask him questions. Jimmy the Traveler doesn't quite explain why you're here with me. In the afterlife. I... I travel in my sleep. Always have. What? Look. It used to be fun. I went to different places. Every night. So do I. At first, I thought they were just dreams. Not real. But no. My body stayed in bed. But my mind, my spirit, or whatever, they were set free. In my sleep, I was a ghost. Everything I saw happened somewhere. To mm. someone. And one night, I traveled here. And I can't wake up since. So, if you're the good guy, and she's evil, then why did she bring me back to life? Because, you know, that was kind of awesome. It's all part of the game she's playing. Oh, let's find out what it is. you die again. Ha! And that you will have no choice but to do what she asks. And trust me, Everything she does comes with a price. Anyway, I don't want to try to convince you. You'll know when you see the real her. Yeah. Maybe. But when will I see the real you? The real me? Well, he's fast asleep in bed. Back in the real world. And if he doesn't wake up anytime soon, so he's like in a coma. Huh. Well, I've noticed so far that it's getting darker and darker the further we go. How does he know all this about the queen, anyway? He's... Well, maybe he's been observing everyone. Maybe he's seen everything that happened to Susan and uh, Joe and Ivy, and now Lorelai. Maybe that's what he means by he goes other places, he sees things happen to other people. Yeah, Zoe, he is Zoe from Dreamfall. Oh, that was a good game. Gosh, that was a good game. I really should play chapters, Dreamfall chapters. Uh, so where are we going? Are we there yet? So where are we going? The tunnel. That's where the devil came from. Devil? 
The devil came through here. If you prefer. Ha! She is she the devil! Oh my gosh. The names are just names. They don't really matter. Huh. Says Jimmy the Traveler. What other names does she have? I'm super interested in this. She called herself Lorelei in um Downfall. What other names does she have? People that come through here always want to know. Mm -hmm. And every time she gives a different answer. Actually, it's funny, but I even heard her using the name Lorelei once. Ha! Huh. What? What? Why? There's no follow-up to that. She always gives a different name. Hmm. So maybe this tunnel is what is being referenced every time we've seen the message the devil came through here. What's in the tunnel? What's in the tunnel? That's where the real Queen of Maggots is. Oh? And has been since the dawn of time. Evil. The old woman is just a puppet. And her little house by the field? Not real. It felt very real to me. And the stew was delicious! Sure. But trust me, it's just a dream within a dream. Dream within a dream? The dream within a dream. That reminds me of um, the developer's uh, summary of the game talking about how um, entering adulthood is like waking from a, a dream something like that but then you may want to go back to sleep but you can never enter the same dream something like that that real queen of maggots what's she like you'll see soon enough so I'm cryptic not really sure if I want to no nobody wants to but, but you now must. that you're here, this is your only chance to win her wicked little game. How? By killing her. Once and for all. That means I stay dead. How can we kill something that doesn't even exist? I'm in. That woman may seem friendly, but she hasn't fooled me. I don't want to kill her. Hmm. I haven't made up my mind either way. Because if we kill her, then we can't come back to life. But I guess that should be okay, because we know that, um... We at least know that Bethany's okay now, because she's with Zack. How can we kill something that doesn't even exist? And I just know that, uh... Even as Jimmy the Traveler confirmed, everything she does for you has a price. But what? What is the price? You lose How your soul or something? something that doesn't even exist oh she does exist hiding in the tunnel the real her but mate you're just like the queen of maggots all these words but you're actually saying nothing i kind of agree with that <laughs> you want me to go inside the tunnel then you have to tell me what to do i made a bomb a bomb it's weak to fire. Oh, I don't know, Jimmy. Not a big fan of bombs. What if I say no? Then you will forever be your slave. Worked out Just fine for like Susan. Others before you. Or did it? Huh. We are here. Take this with you. Here's the bomb and a lighter light the fuse why can't he do it perhaps Wait. are you not going in with me no I wish I could but I am not allowed to enter the tunnel why not he's not actually dead She'd huh sniff me out in an instant I'm not dead like you I'm only sleeping Oh, do I have the bomb? Soup can grenade. It seems 
strange that just something so s simple? Is that the word I'm looking for? It's a bit shit, but maybe it'll do. Something so simple can kill what? Evil. The devil. What? The 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 first evil thing to ever exist in all of existence. You know, this kind of reminds me a little bit of the uh, tunnel that we were walking through. Met... Met? 37. This kind of reminds me of the tunnel that we were walking through with Susan in the Cat Lady at the very beginning when we had our arms sliced off with all the cars, right? With all the cars, the collapsed tunnel, or yeah, the partially collapsed tunnel. Remember, cool guys, don't look at explosions. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to turn away. We'll just light it and we'll just stand like... We'll just turn away and not look at it. And then I'm just waiting for the one time it's like a comedy movie and the, something explodes behind him, but he was walking away too slowly, so he just gets blasted forward and just gets killed in the blast because he was trying to be cool and walk away. Instead of running for cover. This rock could be useful. All rocks could be useful, my dear. If you have the right imagination. What do we have here? I wonder what Hmm. Well, let's examine things first before we go fiddling. So, Queen of Maggots dies, says Sin. Doesn't that create a power vacuum that Jimmy can then step into and claim for himself? I don't think he has the power to Sin. If he's just a regular human that observes people. You know, the Queen of Maggots, she's, she's got power. She's got power to bring people to life. She's... I don't know. She lives in the hearts of all of us. Even the smallest, tiniest mustard seed of evil inside all human beings because of our imperfection. Always waiting for the chance to grow and take over her host. There's something on the other side of the wall. I can hear noises coming from behind. I wish I was strong enough to push it down, but I'm not. Mm. The tunnel is blocked with a pile of bricks and rusty metal parts. There's no getting around this. At least not without using my bomb. Uh, we don't want to use our bomb yet. That's saved for a very special person. <sighs> Blobble said... Yeah, at least we know our baby sister is okay since we left her with our neighbor who we don't really know that well and has no legal obligation to take care of her after we disappeared. But he seemed so nice. Blow wolf. No, I'm sure he'll see. I mean, even if even if Bethany has to go into into uh what what you call it? I uh, she's going to be okay. I wish I was strong enough to put this something on the other side. Huh. Oh! Rock. Side of the wall. Use the rock on the wall. Is coming from behind it. That's not it. What? What do you mean it's not it? You just have to... There's no getting around this. At least not without using my bomb. Uh, or this rock? Nope. Damaged wall? Hmm. Are you sure you can't use the That's rock? That's not gonna work. Oh, not with that kind of attitude. Did they establish no next of kin? You'd think they'd try to keep the family together instead of spinning her off into- Yeah, exactly. This does nothing. Jimmy! What am I supposed to do now, Jimmy? It's blocked. Can you give me another one of these shit pipe bombs? Guess not. I actually can't leave. It's the light I got from Jimmy. I'm supposed to light the fuse with it. Uh It's a bit shit. A perfectly shaped rock like this could have thousands of uses. Perfectly shaped for what though? Met 37, that's on the wall? Yeah. I did notice that, but I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Uh Maybe this is an old metro tunnel? I'm... Don't think I'm supposed to use the pipe bomb? 
Why? Oh, for fuck's sake. There's something on the other side. I mean, if I use this, then... I guess... You know what? Let's save it. Hush, Lorelai. This is coming from behind it. We're gonna save it, and then see uh, if it's the wrong thing to do. Oh, fuck it. I'll find another way to blow up Queen of Maggots. <laughs> yeah, you do that. We better run! Oh, is this gonna fill it with gas? Yeah! Fill it with gas. Fill it with gas. I wonder what it does. Uh, are you not gonna blow up now? What? Did I need to? I thought she did light it. Do I need to light it? Well. Now I light a fuse. Oh boy. That's how this works. Great. I thought she did light it when she was kneeling down. Hmm. Oh great. He gave me a broken lighter. Ah! <laughs> hmm. I wish I was strong enough. Okay. Maybe. Rock? Strike a strike a strike a spark. Yeah, strike a strike a spark. Yeah. There you go. At a growl. Oh boy. Run. Ah. Success. Yeah, where did he find a lighter in the afterlife? Wait, where did he find the ingredients to make a soup can bomb in the afterlife? It's big enough for me to get through. Now, what do you think the Queen of Maggots is actually going to look like? Disconnected pipes. The middle part is probably not. I could probably fix this. If I need to. It's the missing part of the machinery. I didn't have to look far for once. Oh, machinery. It's some kind of steam engine. She's going to look like a cake? A cake? It's some kind of steam engine. Steam engine. It's so loud. Uh, yeah, let's turn that down. Hmm, aha. Uh -huh. Let's take this. Connect it to this. Probably. Use. That does sound very loud. You can make a bomb from deodorant. And we did see fashionable grave marks earlier, so I wouldn't be surprised. Or maybe she'll be like queen pulsating, bloating, festering, sweaty bow. Oh, wow, that's super descriptive. Wow. What? Oh, we need tape. Let's take some of this tape. Super convenient. Uh, yeah, you should. Yeah, why not? Let's put that there. Let's probably fix this. Now, do I need to connect? Let's use this. All right, and then, without moving, there you have it. There you have it. Excellent. It's some kind of steam engine. It's so loud. Well, not as loud, but. Now that that is fixed, maybe we can go use the valve. So yeah, totally red tentacles as testicles. <laughs> a maggot with a crown, says Blah Wolf. I think she's gonna look something like maybe the ivies? Like the, the distorted, no, what were they? What did she call them? Memories. The memories of, what was it, Sophie? The Q and E text need a drop shadow. Hey, May Show has joined the stream. Hi, May. 
Good to see you. Oh, hey. I feel like we are in the same tunnel. Oh my gosh, I feel like we're in the same tunnel as uh, in the cat lady. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I think this could be described as a bus. There's something up there. But what is it? Oh, oh, I see what she's talking about. A little. I can't reach. Hmm. Inventory. Nope, broken lighter is all we have. That's not it. Okay. We need to bump it, perhaps? Oh. Sudden s sudden uh, lack of music. I don't like that. This one doesn't look completely broken. Maybe I could drive it? Hey, remember in the cat lady where we found an ambulance and a stretcher, but only it was like... It was, uh, it was our body on it when Blocked. we opened it. It's blocking the tunnel exit. All right. Well, let's grab it's this. Part of the ambulance equipment. Let's grab this. Did it fall out of the ambulance? And then the doors shut themselves. It's of no use to me. Hmm. Well, I don't think the car is going to be any use to us right now. The first thing I want to do is get that thing off the top of the bus. Lighters are surprisingly ineffective at increasing one's height. What is that? It's my head! It's my head. And I've got goggles on. No, I've got a key shoved in my eye. It's my severed head. <laughs> of course. What else could it be? Oh my goodness. I think she's already lost it, Ark. And there it lies. Maybe I can start one of these cars with it? You know, she's taking all of this really well. <laughs> she's taking all of it really well, and, uh... She's just not really surprised at anything. In fact, she wasn't even surprised at anything, like, in the beginning, really. She just kind of takes, takes it in stride. Give me that. Thanks for holding it for me, me. Let's see if that key works. Alrighty. Let's nudge this thing, I guess. Burn. Bang! Now, what's with the stretcher, though? Oh, hey! I can do it again! And again! Oh, maybe not again. She did use her head. I can hear the sound of machinery coming from behind it. Strange place for the Queen of Maggots to reside. Oh! Hey. Hey, look, this is the... This is the room! The room inside the Queen's house. And I can't go back. Okay. Well. Roots hanging down there. What is all this machinery? What's it supposed to be? What? Furnace? Oh. Oh. Is this the real queen of maggots? Yeah. It doesn't seem to notice me. What's it eating? It's eating Maybe mannequins! It's, it's eating the mannequin bodies. That are covered in blood. Oh my gosh. Okay! Let's not disturb it? No. Corpse. Examine. This one seems to be holding something. It's a corpse? Okay, so maybe she's eating corpses, but I can tell that some of the things down below are mannequins. You won't need this anymore. Take it. I don't want to disturb her yet. I don't want to try to talk to her yet. Good lord. <gasps> What's happening? What's happening? You're alive? No! Oh, 
Oh dear. Oh. Here we are again. Ah, oh, I should have tried talking to her then. I missed my chance. I missed my opportunity. Ah. Oh. I want to go back. I want to... I did save it, didn't I? I was going to. I can't. Oh, I really want to go back and see what I can say to her or something. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. If you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you've ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it or just let it slip away? I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh shit, probably should have stopped and started the stream to make it easy to post two separate videos. We're going back to the past. Alright, we'll just have to redo our pipe bomb, I think. Alright. Loadeth. Loadeth. Oh! Oh, game! Oh, game! Why? Shit. I could go back and, uh... Was there a load option? Could I load a specific one? I think there was a load option, wasn't it? Flowers says John. Jimmy. John Jimmy? I manually saved it when, um, I manually saved it right before we used the pipe bomb, didn't I? Low game, low game, low game, low game, low game, low game. Excellent. Excellent. I did not want to miss out on that. Uh, right, yes. Oh, only 10 minutes apart. Alrighty. So we know exactly what to do. Oh, fuck it. I'll find another way to blow up Queen of Maggots. Yeah, I don't want to risk it by hitting skip either. I don't want to. That's not it. What? Now I like the, the fuse. And it's not going to work. Oh great! He gave me a broken lighter. Ah, Jimmy, have to do everything myself. Now watch your stupid bomb not even work. Nope. Nope, not what I meant to do. Take a step forward. But I definitely have to go back and uh, rewatch or replay the Cat Lady and possibly Downfall because I want to see like what consequences were there really for Susan? Like, didn't she end up? Oh dear! Fuck! <laughs> oh dear! Now what? Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, just use this. And it just reloads like, ah, oh, you're an idiot. You should have seen that coming. <sighs> the game's just like, yeah, you're an idiot. Go ahead and retry that. We'll pretend we didn't see. I'm really surprised I didn't get an achievement for that, though. Come on, the achievement. Are you playing Life is Strange 2? I'm, I'm not. Jimmy the Traveler's a YouTuber? Is it really? No, I'm not playing Life is Strange 2. I actually haven't played the first one, even though it's on my, it's on my, uh, what do you call it, uh, desktop. I just, I 
just been distracted by take some with me? other games. No, it looks like black tentacles. Gross. Oh, it's yeah. just some duct tape. Relax, Lorelei. Relax. All right, let's stick this on here. Let's wrap it up good and tight. Wrap it up good and tight. All right. Okay, again, so what? Oh, right, 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 the steam. Yeah, yeah, the steam. The steam transported us or something. Yeah, I was really surprised that, like, that was my only opportunity, and then I leave the area seeing the real Queen of Maggots, because, um... Beca because, um... I thought I was gonna need to find a way to kill her, or destroy her. But I guess, uh, there will be other opportunities. Let's just c come here and take this straight away. Stretcher. It's of no use. Yeah, this was the stretcher that Susan's body was lying on. I think this is a very nice parallel to be in the underground, whatever this is, underground parking tunnel or underground. Hmm. Come here, head. This is the second time our head has found its way off of our shoulders. Was lying on or has yet to lie on? Ex yes, that is a good that is a good point, Sin. We don't know if this this game is taking chronologically after the cat lady or before. So maybe timeline wise, this game happens first, and then later on the cat or the the Queen of Maggots calls herself Lorelai. But then again, no, because Jimmy the Traveler just confirmed that she previously used the name Lorelai. Hmm. 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 Let's see if that key works. I was wondering if perhaps she takes the names of her most recent victim? Then again, she'd be changing names all the time. But then again, she said she has many names. <gasps> all right. Save. Saved. Oh dear. Okay. So let's try. It's locked. The symbol on the door looks familiar. I'm sure I've seen it before. Okay. I wonder if we can get back here now from the Queen's. From the Queen's uh, house. Now. What do I have on me? A broken lighter. <laughs> uh, get out of my face, inventory. I don't need you. Is this the real it's like a broken face? mannequin face or a broken mannequin head. and Does Oh, it's got, it's got mannequin arms as well mm -hmm. and those tentacles coming out just like the 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 throne she was sitting in so this one seems to be holding something let's take this for sure and uh let's have a little chit chat let's have a little chitty chat this monster could it really be what queen of maggots actually is if i destroy this thing will everything go back to the way it was Ha, huh, interesting. Can we Okay. Well. I guess that was it. Yeah, Jimmy is played by a guy named Young y Yong Yi. Young Yi. Now, when Lorelai's asking, but what does she mean by go back to the way it was? So time would go backwards and she would have died when 
she first got stabbed in the throat and her her baby sister would die or basically j red oh bed bed i thought it said red looks comfy enough no time for sleeping um or does she mean that time will just continue she'd stay dead from being shot in the head i don't know that doesn't seem to make a lot of sense it wouldn't be the first time he used youtubers though oh very interesting no sleep for dreaming say the art facts of life here we go let's take a look see strange symbol drawn on this door. let's try it oh let's see what she has to say about it actually this strange symbol oh. on the key i've seen it before <gasps> she going to come up the no, stairs oh dear oh dear Oh dear. She's gonna get mad if she catches me fiddling with this door. I should try again later. Hmm. What about this one? Did we know what this one was? But what about this one? Can I go back out here? No. Only one way, it seems. Like we just meet a stranger named Rose Arifnosi! <laughs> What if Rose is in the game? I am not in the game. Oh, not to my knowledge. Let me guess. Lorelai's been naughty, been a naughty little pest. Uh, I think she's gonna have some more stew prepared for me. Delicious stew. Where are you, queen? It's burning nicely. Let's have a seat and rock by the fire. It almost makes this place look like home. Ah, here she is. Ah, oh, she's gonna ask me to blow out a candle. Hi! Bet you knew you'd be seeing me again, the didn't you? Daughter returns. Prodigal. What took you so long? What? I'm not your daughter. I got a little lost. I met this guy. He says his name is Jimmy the Traveler. Ah! Let's see. I definitely don't want to give him up. Holy shit. Let's just say I'm not your daughter. I'm not your daughter. But, my dear Lorelei, didn't I feed you when you were hungry? Didn't I give you a roof over your head when you had nowhere to go? Ah, uh, she has a point. Didn't I give you a life when all you craved for was revenge? I died again. I never asked for any of this. But you wanted it, didn't you? And yet, you took it all. Mm. And you wasted it. Give me another chance. I won't waste it this time. Mm. I got tricked. Mm. Give me another chance. I got tricked. Really? By that drunk lowlife? That miserable failure of a man. You let him outsmart you? Well... I think you need to try a little harder or be smarter than you thought. Give me another chance and won't waste it. Next time I'll make sure he stays dead. I met this guy. No, let's not talk about that. Let's not mention it. <sighs> yeah, how will you make sure he stays dead? Hmm. Give me another chance. I won't waste it this time. Yes. But I did say another chance would not come free. What do you want? Let's find out. I'd like you to play a game. I've been playing it for a long time myself. It's most entertaining. Well, this should be good. As long as you put yourself in the right mind frame. But. It'll be a good lesson for you. That life requires sacrifices. Okay. Game. Ah. I like games. But first, I want you to understand what's at stake. See all these candles? They're human lives. I know it. All's fine, as long as they're lit. But around here, Sometimes it takes the lightest of drafts to put them out. Now, these three here, they 
special. The first one burns for a little better. Innocent and helpless. The middle one's for Zack, your goofy boyfriend to be. And finally, you, Lorelei. Your flame's gone, of course, but we can make it burn again. We've done it once already. Then let me guess. You want me to fetch something for you again? No, the price has gone up, dear. I told you it would. The task I have for you will be considered. She wants me to blow someone time. else's out, doesn't she? See? Candles on the table. Pick one. Pick one. Okay. <laughs> what if I just walk out? Nah, nah, nah. Oh. Oh, how beautiful. At least she's being straightforward. Yeah, that's a... At least that's a plus. Yeah, at least she's finally being straightforward. Yes, these candles are human lives. Wow, this is beautiful. It's really beautiful. I can't leave. Hmm. Well, it could be a short lifespan, but we don't know how the passage of time compares here to the real world. Hmm. So many candles. Which one do I pick? Just pick one. No. Light it up, Lorelei. Oh. What will it do? What will it do? Now, where do I light it? This is a bad idea. Use. Use candle on candles. What? Use candle on fireplace. Yeah, but she told you specifically which ones are the important ones for Lorelai. Yes. I've done what she asked. But lit the candle. Let's see what story the flame has to tell. I remember in the cat lady, one of the candles that was blown out was someone hanging themselves. And another one was an old man in a no. hospital bed. It's someone you've already met. Oh. A chef. His name is Anne. Yeah, it's the chef of the facility, yeah, I think. That rings a bell. He works in the care home, right? Yes. You do know this book, but now you will get to know him better than anyone. Why him? What's so special about Al? Hmm? There's nothing special about him. He's just a sad little man who likes to drink. His life has been slowly falling apart for quite some time. He tries to fix it, but you will make sure he fails. Hmm. And if I don't? A life for a life, Lorelei. I think that most young gentlemen that adores you so much would even the scales just for her. Or I could take Bethany instead. Would that hurt you even more? Your choice, Lorelei. Will you sacrifice their lives for a man you hardly know? Or simply help him? to do what he wants. Just one nice alcoholic drink. The 
that will be enough for Anne. Hardly a devil's work, is it? And how on earth do I do that? You'll be an invisible presence in his life. Oh, goodness. It's ghost, dark. Following Anne wherever he goes. Try whispering in his ear. <gasps> Plant some bad thoughts in his mind. That's evil. Sometimes that's enough to push them over the edge. That's so evil. Hesitate to break something either. He won't be able to see you after all. Be his misery. Oh my goodness. And make him drink again. Ah. Oh. Trust me. Although I might seem nice at first. He does not deserve a happy ending. Hmm. Do I really have time for this? I have people that need me right now. They will wait. You have all the time in the world. Now, go through the mirror, my beautiful princess of maggots. Oh, jeez. Is that what I am now? All right. Yeah, really? Princess? Oh, God. That's an impossible... That's an impossible task that she's given me. But what do you do? I mean, I'm sure the game is going to give you no, no option to refuse. I was, uh, Sin was totally thinking that she becomes the new one. Hmm. Okay, guys, well, we've been streaming for a little over two hours now, so I think I'm going to call it here, because I do have some things I need to do tonight. So we're going to call it here, and then we're going to push on with finding out more about Al's life and what we have to do next stream. Uh, it's probably go We're probably going to need to be without Streamlabs for the remainder of this series. Sin says maybe the Queen is aware of all her existences across time or something. Yeah, and why is she, why is she wanting Lorelai to do this? Maybe she just... Maybe she just gets pleasure in torturing other people, forcing, like, good people to do bad things in order to help themselves. That sounds very, very sadistic, but not far from somebody who considers themselves the Queen of Maggots. Alright guys, we're going to take off for the day. Good to see everybody here. Thanks everyone for stopping by and saying hi. And uh, I will see you next stream. You guys take care.